The dangers of this extreme heat are being felt and seen across Arizona right now and with a number of heat related deaths last year right here in Maricopa County. Cities are learning from last summer, hoping that adding more cooling spaces and more hours lives will be saved. But will that be enough? ABC 15's Eleni Dow is asking that question. It is hot out here. It's getting hot now. People like Jerome find it hard to escape the sweltering heat being without a home. We sleep under the underpass over there. He sometimes walks about a block over to the nearest cooling center. I got some, um, some food yeah, um, and some cold water. But not everyone could do that. Do you guys feel like cooling centers are enough? They're a piece of it. All of it collectively is what we need to be doing. The cooling centers is just a piece where it's a, it's a safe place. We have resources, get people engaged, and get people to connect on to those more permanent solutions. The city of Phoenix telling us on Thursday they're working collaboratively with different city departments, the county, and state as the extreme heat settles in for the summer. The other thing that we noticed too was mainly the, the hours of operation. We that, that ended up being a very big takeaway for, uh, for us from last year. Some cooling centers are now open until 10 at night. And for the first time, two are overnight. This year so far, since we started operations May 1st, we've already seen more than 3,000 visits just at the extended hour and overnight cooling centers. And there are many more visits happening at other city facilities and facilities operated beyond the city as well. Is there more that you can do than just cooling centers? We're going to keep looking at the data to understand where the needs are in the community. There are also concerns that those experiencing homelessness are no longer in one area once called the zone. How are you guys going out and doing outreach for people experiencing homelessness when we don't have the zone anymore where they were all in one place? Yeah, we have extensive outreach teams. We part, we have a uh, contract with providers in the community to do outreach. We have internal teams that do outreach uh, and engage with people and get them connected in all these resources. People like Jerome say they're just trying to acclimate to the heat again as we move forward with summer. I'm getting used to it. In Phoenix, Eleni Dow, ABC 15, Arizona. Thank you, Eleni.